If you're looking for a way to add social login, social shares, and social counters on your WordPress site, I have the solution for you. It's called WP Social, and it's on a lifetime deal right now. So let's go check it out right now. What's up, everyone? So I want to show you this plugin, which is WP Social, and basically it's really easy to implement. So don't worry about that. The only thing that I find that has a little bit more of a complex of setting up is the social login. So it shows you the step by step and they have guides to do this. But the rest of the stuff is just super easy to implement. All right. So let's get started. This is a lifetime deal and it starts off at $39, which is for five sites for lifetime. You get all the updates for five sites. Now, if you don't plan to have more than five sites because basically you're not a website person and you probably already have one or two and you don't plan on getting another one, this is the way to go. But if you have a lot of sites, unlimited is the way to go for $78. Or if you are an agency and you want to resell this to your clients. So do consider these two plans, they're lifetime deals and they have a 60 day money back guarantee. So if you in case you don't like it, just go ahead and refund it. All right. Now, social counter is super easy to implement. Now, before I show you how to get started, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. They have great shared hosting plans, which is what I use for my WordPress sites. So let me show you what they have. If you go to web hosting, link provided in the description, check out this plan. For example, they have several plans, but I'll show you the business plan because there's an extra discount coupon code that I want to show you how to apply. Now, the first thing that Hostinger is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance? So I recommend 40 months. You lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, and you're good to go for 48 months. Now, this is the current price, but if you add my coupon code, which is SAS master and apply it, the price is going to drop to $172 with 37 cents. So use my coupon code. All right. So how do you use this? The first thing you want to do is obviously install the plugin at your license and you are good to go. Let's start off with the social login. That means that this is going to look like this. So if I'm in WordPress, yes, I can remove this and I can stick with the social login. All I have to do is add the app and the secret key from each one of these services. Now I did it with GitHub, which is something really easy to implement. And if I click on GitHub, I can log in using GitHub and it'll take me to my WordPress site. Now, if you have a store, if you have WooCommerce, if you have a membership, et cetera, on your WordPress site, this is a great option to implement. All right. Now, like I said, it's super easy to implement. First of all, you got your global settings. So custom lo login redirect. You want to take them to a certain section. Go ahead and enable this and take them to a certain section of your site. Show, button, show buttons to WP login. You can hide it, change it, etc. Move it to login footer, etc. Show uh, a lot of settings, right? I won't get into this and you get a short code for all of this. So you get short code for login, social share and counter, right? So that means that we can implement this really easily, which I'll show you in a bit how to do it. All right. Then you got your providers. So in providers, we have the option to enable, for example, Facebook. Now, right now I just turned it on, but it's not set up. So I have to go to settings add my app, app ID and my app secret inside of here. Then you got your button settings. So what do you want it to say? And the usage for this, you got a, you got a short code for this. So if you want to embed this in a different section, not just the login section, you have the option to do it with this or use the simple link. So it's great that we get all this. So right now there's all these providers available as of this video. So the most popular ones is Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, um, GitHub. I think these are the most popular ones, even WordPress is here and line up and it's super easy to set up. Then you got your style settings for this. So this is what I'm using right now, but there's different styles depending on your site look, what you like most, etc. But you can't modify these. All right. So you could just select the style, but you can't modify after that. All right. So once you select it, go ahead and save it and you're good to go. That's how easy it is to add social login to your WordPress site. Now, when it comes to social share, again, we got the use of the default font settings. You got your short code. Again, you can add these really quickly, which I'll show you. Don't worry. The providers in this case, for example, Facebook, we can set up the provider here really easily. Go to settings, default Facebook share counter. So you can add, for example, I don't know, one, I don't know, 220 as a default shared counter. So it looks more, I don't know, popular uh, text below it, shares, label name and the old count. You can go ahead and save that. And for example, another one is Pinterest. You can go ahead and add it again. And you got counters again with these that you can add there, which is super easy to implement. Then go ahead and select the style for this. And where do you want this to appear on your WordPress site for the post? For example, here for the hover effect, if I want to add that there, let me go ahead and add, uh, I don't know, this one. There we go. Select share style. I'm going to select that's fine with this one. Now, this one looks better. Right. And you got several styles here. So let's go ahead and save that. Here we go. 
let me show you how this is going to look so let's go into one of the posts here let me go ahead and view this one and here it is we have the social shares right here and i think this should be in the bottom too here it is all right because that's the style that i selected so it's super easy to implement right let's go back all right next we have is social counter for so for the counter again you got your social your short codes you got your providers here for example facebook all i have to do is add my page id nothing fancy about it default fan page so right now that's the subscribers that you can add there well followers in this case you could change it and again that thing, same thing goes with x twitter username so in this case it does ask for the access token so make it a more realistic social counter in this case and again you got your comments and posts here all right next we have the style settings for this so hover over effect you have these options the select counter style so i've selected that one and once you're good to go go ahead and save it and these should be available now for example let's go ahead and embed all of these so you can see how they look so i'm going to copy all of these right here i'm going to go to post let me add a new post let's add a, a test let's add a short code right here so remember that's that's how easy it is to add short codes all right and same thing goes with any uh, theme that you're using if you're using divi elements or etc they have short codes available all right once that's done let's go ahead and view the post all right and here it is i just embedded all of these just to show you how they look all right so here's a quick idea of how it's going to look you can select different styles etc but just go ahead and embed it really easily like that and especially if you want to embed it somewhere else that it's not by default all right so basically it's a super easy plugin to start using you got your settings you got your modules right here which is nothing fancy about it but this is the main aspect of it login share and counter and this is a lifetime deal so if you find it interesting and you find it really easy to use i definitely recommend that you check it out and basically the price the sweet spot is the agency plan with unlimited sites especially if you're going to do uh development development for sites reselling etc go ahead and use that one and it's a lifetime deal so go ahead, and, go ahead and refund it if you don't like it in case you just test it out and it's not for you all right and don't forget to use my coupon code if you plan to grab a shared hosting plan and that's a wrap